what's happening guys so I'm gonna do gonna do this bounce out video in this late evening off of the video I seen earlier today of Casey Xander shout out to Casey um uh, I'm sure some of you guys seen it as well someone actually sent me the video and it was very well done very well said very true and on my channel, I've always preached you guys, bro, to always do the right thing. It's never about leveling up, becoming strong, successful, to shag all these chicks. Like, it's to level up for yourself. It's to level up for your family. It's to level up to do what is right. I knew from a young age what to do and what not to do. I found love in my life at an early age, and I've also lost it. And I got a little lost after that. Did a couple of things and realized that is not the answer. You might go to a party, have a bit of fun, etc., cetera, etc. Cetera. I realized at a young age that that was not the answer. It's never the answer to be running around doing a whole bunch of crazy things, regardless if you can or can't. It is not the answer, bro. The answer is to stay pure. The answer is to stay clean. The answer is to do what's right. Regardless of the urges you have, a lot of these red pill guys, bro, they're, they ain't it, bro. They ain't it. I like Casey, but bro, look at these red pill creators. Look at them. You don't do it for that. You don't do the, the it, it's great and all to know about female nature, sure. That's how all this started. That's how all the red pill creators have started. I'm not a red pill creator. I talk about a whole lot of things. I'm not this red pill guy. But look how it's all started. It started with getting screwed over by women. And then they're explaining X, Y, and Z. And it's like, oh, let's get back at them. That's pretty much what red pill is. Stay red pill, guys. All women's like this. Do this. And it's not the answer. The only answer is to maybe have an understanding of women and what they're capable of. But it doesn't mean you got to turn into them. You know, it doesn't mean you got to turn into a version of them as a man and start sleeping with a bunch of women and do a whole bunch of crazy things because this is not the answer. I have never preached to you guys once on my channel to do these things. Never. <laughs> I have never done these things myself. Because I knew it was not the answer. You might have slipped up once when you were young or something like that. You got with someone that's not even your girl or something like that, sure. But it's not the answer, bro, to be going around doing a whole bunch of crazy stuff. The answer is to self-improve, to better your life for yourself, for your family, for your loved ones, and to set a great example. And this is what more of the world needs. I love that Casey has done that video. That's exactly what the world needs to hear. The world's become this mosh pit, bro. I've been even telling you guys this in recent videos, just, just recently, like, yeah, there's crazy people. Sure, there's crazy people, but <laughs> all the games, all the games that's going on, bro, it's no longer a game when you see things for what they are. It's no longer a game no more. The game's over. Now you start to live. And that's what I've been preaching to you guys for on this channel. When you do what's right, you start to live a good life. When you're taking the wrong actions and doing the wrong things, you're only setting yourself back further and further and further into terrible habits, into terrible temptations, and you're not living a righteous life. <laughs> so it's not the answer to chase down these things. The answer is to set yourself straight, to be a great human being for yourself, your family, your loved ones, and everyone else involved. That's the answer. It's the only answer. It's not to get back at these chicks. Oh, someone done you wrong. Boo-hoo. It don't mean you turn into a female, a male version of that female and start doing to other females. That is weak. 
You know what we do? We take our lickings if something even happens to us, bro. We take our lickings. We lick our own wounds. <laughs> we take it like a man. And we press forward in life. Regardless of how we feel, that's what we do. Through the rain, the shine, the, the sleet, the hail, the tornadoes, it does not matter, bro. We just keep pressing it forward. 24-7. Doing what's right regardless of what's happening, what's not happening. We are happening. We are making shit happen ourselves. We're living righteous ourselves. With or without anybody. And that is how actually everything comes together. It's not by getting back at nobody. And talk about getting back at people. You're going to get back. If you really want to get back at people, bro, you really want to get back at your ex, you want to get past, you, you want to get back at your toxic hater friends, you want to get back at people that have done you wrong for no good reason, live a self-righteous life, succeed, become much better, become happier, become better overall. That is the only answer. The worst thing you can do, like I said, bro, is to play the game or to think you need game, to think you need to be something else of who you're not because you got done dirty. Something happened to those individuals that have done you dirty. Did you ever think about that? Some you have, some you probably have not. It does not mean, oh, you have to be that way now. You have to play the game now. That's how they all are. Oh, so I should start to do that because that's how I'm going to benefit. You're not going to benefit at all. You're going to be just like them, if not worse. That's what it's going to come down to. And that is kind of what the world has gotten into. And I've always preached to you guys since day one on this channel to do what's right. Never did I say become massively successful, famous, muscular, good looking and all this and go and slam a bunch of these chicks, bro. Yeah, it's definitely the answer. Not once. Not once did I say learn game, bro. Pick up these girls, bro, and learn these, these, this game, bro. It's what you need, bro, is, is, is the game. It is no game. When you start playing this game, you lost. You are enough as it is, as long as you're putting in the work. Now, you probably can't be some just useless human being that doesn't even know right from wrong. You have to be putting in the work. You have to be getting better. You have to be self-improving for the right reasons. You should be able to look after your family. You should be able to get up every single day and get after it in life. As long as you're healthy, God forbid. That is the answer, bro. I never wanted to run around and sandblast a bunch of chicks just for no good reason. Why would I want to do that? What is that going to give me? I already know what it's going to give me. Nothing. You're left with nothing. I said this before, bro. Okay. <laughs> you want to go out on the weekends, bro? You want to go drink, bro? You want to go do all these things, bro, and think you're cool? Guess what? You have to wake up the next day. Now what? Now what are you going to do? Now what is you going to do? What are you going to do? You're not going to know what to do. It's going to be nothing there. But when you become somebody, bro, when you become self-righteous, whenever you're going down your path in life, doing the things you're supposed to be doing as a man or a woman, things are just going to feel right. Life is going to feel right. You're going to feel like you're doing the right things. And if you're not doing the right things, if you're screwing people over because, oh, something happened to you, poor you. You're in over your head. Something bad is going to come your way. Karma is real. This is why I have never in my life broken a chick's heart. I have discouraged women from rejection and all this other kind of stuff, sure. Everyone has rejected someone. Everyone has gotten rejected. That's just life. And that's not playing a game. That's being upfront and blunt. 
Sure, we have discouraged the opposite gender. Sure, we have discouraged even our friends and family before and everything else. But as far as manipulation, bro, playing these games, I have never done that in my life. It's always these, <clears throat> it's always these upfront actions that's going to come from me. I don't have to manipulate. If I want to sandblast a bunch of chicks, sure, it could happen. I don't want to do that. It's not right. It does not make me feel good. It does not fill me up. It brings you down. It's no different than toxic friends. I don't want to hang with you, bro. Same with these chicks. I don't love you. I don't want to hang out with you. I don't want nothing to do with you. That's just how it is. But the red pill community, level up, bro. Get your game on point, bro. Do this, bro. Do that, bro. It's a bunch of bullshit. It's going to lead you absolutely nowhere. But getting your head on straight is going to lead you in the right directions every single place you want to go to. It's going to lead you to the right places, bro. But doing a whole bunch of F shit. That's not going to get you nowhere. <laughs> Short term, you're going to think you're winning. Short term, you're going to think you're getting ahead. Short term, you're, you think you're going to be being satisfied until there's still nothing there. Nothing. You want people in your life who you care about, bro, and who care about you. You want real shit. And just like the last video, bro, just be real. Don't be a, a nice person and manipulative. Don't be a bad person either that's going to do some crazy stuff. Just be a real person. Just live life the right way. Is it that hard? Is it that hard for people to do? Is it that hard for people to just... They, it's, they have to play these games. It's manipulation and witchcraft time after time again. They go hand in hand. It's like the same thing, manipulation, witchcraft, whatever you want to call it, bro. It's all bullshit. And I know it when I see it. You, you, you talk to some chick, bro, you know it when you see it. You know it. Or a certain friend hits you up or something and just the way they're talking to you, bro, it's like, this motherfucker, bro, manipulating, doing this, doing that. Nah. <laughs> they just want to benefit. They're not really with me. They don't even like me like that. Like it, it's, it's just to benefit. That's all it is. And you guys have to see this stuff for what it is. You can't do this stuff to other people and you have to see this stuff for what it is when it comes to your own sake. Because far too many people, it's like an effect, right? Something's gonna happen to you. Some girl messes you up, bro. She broke your heart completely. She reeled you in, she got you in, boom. A lot of guys will not take their lickings and their wounds like a man. They will not jump on that treadmill in the gym and just run off the pain, get jacked, do what you should be doing, build yourself up and take it, give it another kick, give it another go, keep going. They have to just, oh, that happened to me, turn right bitter and start screwing other people over and I'm gonna destroy these, 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 these hoes. It's not the answer. When bad things happen, bro, you have to take that for what it is. You have to take those things for what it is. You have to take a couple steps back and assess what just happened to you. You have to assess what has just happened in the best way you can possibly take it. Things in life will happen, especially if you're not experienced. When you become experienced, like I became experienced at such a young age, you start to do the right things at such a young age. That's why I got so far ahead at such a young age, in a lot of ways. And everything for me is coming together the way it's supposed to on God's timing, and I couldn't be happier because of it. And I'm gonna keep working, I'm gonna keep putting myself through the right types of pain, the pain of discipline, the pain of discomfort for the greater rewards. And that is what I recommend everybody to do. You don't level up to get more hoes. 
to get to, to have more game. Oh my God, bro. <laughs> you're so cool, man. Oh my goodness, you're so cool. Teach me your ways. So cool, bro. It's not the answer. The answer is to become the best version of yourself. You don't need any of that godless stuff. When has God ever told you to play a game in the Bible? Can somebody please bring it up? Can somebody please show me where this is at? America has become more satanic than ever. It's not as bad as where I come from here in Canada. It's decent in Canada. Pretty good. There's some pretty good people and there's also some witchcraft and manipulation going on. Bro, it would not be safe if I was in America. If people was like that here, bro, oh my goodness. <laughs> it would not be good. Because I would not tolerate it. And these people would be put on blast. I'd get them. Because you ain't going to do me like that. Uh, no way. You ain't going to do me like that. No chance. America is a mess. I feel bad for you Americans when it comes to the relationship dynamic. Here in Canada, not as bad. Still some stuff going on. It's tolerable at least. At the least, it's tolerable. We can deal with it. And things are going to get better with time as well. But for America, bro, oh my goodness. It's a wonder why you want to play a game because everyone's playing the game. So it's almost like that's what people had to do. And I understand, like, I understand the point of view from the red pill creators. It's like, that's what they had, bro. So it's like, they're trying to teach you guys game and what to do and how to act and behave in order to get certain things. But it's just not the answer. It's not going to do you any good in the long run. It's not going to do you good any time at all. To be quite honest, it's going to waste your time. It's like you're pouring so much into things that's not going to matter or mean anything to you. At all. Do you think Dan Bilzerian gives a sweet flying about all those girls that he sandblasted? No. <laughs> There's nothing there. It's meaningless stuff time after time again. It's no different than having meaningless friendships and a bunch of clowns around you, bro. Is that what you want? That's not what I want, and that's not what I have around me either. And I don't talk to clowns. And I don't talk to clowns as females either that want to play all this witchcraft. I ain't doing it. I ain't doing that stuff, bro. It's stupid. And you're all stupid, and you look stupid. When you elevate so high, all you can think, all you see, is how stupid this stuff is. They are dumb. They are broken. They are scared, insecure. They don't know what else to do. I have to act this way in order to get him. I have to lie to him and manipulate him. And then you get these videos on TikTok that go viral of that woman on the phone. You liar. You manipulator. I'll see you in hell. Or, or whatever the hell that video was, but it went viral. That's what you get. That's what you get. You want to keep playing the game? You want to keep leading these hoes on? You, you, you want to keep leading these guys on and create a, a piss poor society? <laughs> hey, then I guess. Be my friend, but it's not going to get you anywhere. The only person who's going to get you anywhere is your damn self. And I get it. This video is a pretty blunt video and so is in a lot of other videos that I have made, but it is the truth. Wake up, people. Wake up. I commend Casey for that video he, he has made. It is great. We need to see more of that. I literally felt the presence of God in his video. I could literally feel it, bro. It, it is good. We need more of that. It's, it's what the world is lacking. And it's what we need. We need trust back. We need trust back between the genders. We need trust back within ourselves. As human beings, but you have to trust yourself first and you have to put in the work first. 
for the right reasons for yourself, for your family, for the people involved. Not to play more game, not to get more hoes, not to screw over more guys, not to be some boss bitch. You all look so stupid. It's stupid. And all these types of people, bro, they're scared of people like us. Because we say it like it is. Our energy is completely different. The way we vibrate, bro, it's completely different than these individuals. You come around individuals like that, bro, they're all, they're all mad. They're pissed off. They're bitter and stuff like this. When we come around these individuals, that's exactly how they is. We can easily have a conversation with just about anybody. We're, we are calm as a cucumber. We can have a conversation with just about anybody, bro. These people come around, you feel some type of way. You feel at an unease. And I get it. Some, some, like, things can happen, bro. Like I even understand from these people's perspectives and point of views, there are some young guys right now that's going through it. Like, let's say 18 to 22. They're getting heartbroken for the first time. Things are happening. They're kind of stuck in their ways. They might be a little bit pissed and, and, and whatnot. I understand what that's like because it has happened to me before whenever I was younger. So sometimes you, all, you, you just got to leave people be sometimes. Sometimes it's okay to not talk to somebody you know for years until they get straight. Sometimes that's what it needs to be. But you got to come back to who you are, bro, regardless of what happened to you. And that is a great part of this message I give to you guys here today. Regardless of what happens, regardless of who screws you over, regardless of the backstabbing bum hater friends that you might have had, regardless of what happens, you have to come back to who you are and start being who you are and start living the way you're supposed to be living, the way God has made you. That's when everything is going to make sense. Everything around you is going to feel like it makes sense. You're in the place you're supposed to be in. You're doing the things you're supposed to be doing. It's a much more beautiful feeling, bro, than sandblasting some shit you don't even have a feeling for, bro. You know what's going to happen? You're going to do it, and as soon as it's over, you're just not You're not even going to want to be there, bro. You get these guys online like, like John Zerka and stuff like that. He, he says some pretty funny stuff. I'll give him that. He says some pretty funny stuff, but he's kind of like a, a goofy clown type of guy. He says stuff like, as soon as I bang her, bro, get her a taxi, get her out of here, because I don't even want to look at her. That's because he's just banging whoever. He don't like her like that. When you actually love the person you're with and you like them like that, you're going to want to stay right there. And it's not even that you necessarily want to stay right there. You just can stay right there. You don't look at her as a burden. You don't look at her like, get out of here. You're annoying. You don't, you don't feel that way. Because the person you're with is somebody you love, bro. There's a huge difference than just sleeping with whoever than sleeping with the person you love with. There's a huge difference. That's why guys say stuff like that, and sure, it could be funny and whatnot, but it, it's really not. He said some other things that I found pretty funny, but that one is just like, yeah, bro sleeping with a chick he don't even like. That's why that's happening. A long-ass time ago, I've even been there myself. I've had the experience. I know what it's like. That's why I know what he's saying. I know what he's saying, bro. And in situations like that, you don't want to be in as a man. If you find yourself, bro, if you even have a girl right now and and you, you sleep with her, bro, and right afterwards you don't even want to be near or nothing, bro, you ain't got the right one, dog. I'm sorry to tell you that, but you ain't got the right one. Vice versa, ladies. If you don't want to be next to the person or, or in the same room or building or house as the person you just had an experience with, uh, they're not the right one. They are not the right one, bro. So, bouncing off Casey's video, I hope this is another wake-up call. And like I said, man, I've always been preaching you guys the truth in this channel to always do what's right. We have no room and we have no time for degeneracy. And with that being said, God willing, God bless. You already know, man. I'll see you guys at the top. Let's go.